The Portrait Throughout Art History Humans have been making portraits of one another since the beginning of recorded history. In ancient Egypt, a portrait of a pharaoh was thought to be a place for his spirit to reside after death. In Rome, artists made busts and large sculptures of political leaders to celebrate their service to the community. During the Renaissance, artists wanted to learn how to make portraits that were more realistic. Some, like Leonardo da Vinci, studied human anatomy. He created some of the most sophisticated portraits the world had ever seen. But who were the people in these paintings? It cost a lot of money to hire an artist to paint a portrait, and you needed plenty of free time to sit around having your picture painted. Kings, queens, noblemen, and other leaders chose the clothing they wore in their portraits carefully. Every detail had meaning. For example, this is a rare and expensive breed of dog. It represents the family's wealth. Here, King Henry VIII wears luxurious fur, embroidered fabric, and even jewelry to show his wealth. In this painting, Napoleon Bonaparte, the first emperor of France, leads his army across the Alps. Even though Napoleon is on a long and difficult journey, he wears expensive and impractical clothing. The emperor points into the mountains, leading his troops. His cloak swirls around him, echoing the line of his arm and suggesting that his gesture is actually controlling the wind. He looks very calm even though his horse is rearing dangerously. The rider controls his horse, again demonstrating his power over nature. Historians believe that, in reality, Napoleon rode a donkey. <coughs> to find out how contemporary artist Kahinda Wiley takes historical portraits and turns them on their heads, open your Scholastic Magazine.